got a couple of minutes, we're going to talk about cables. You'll see above me, there is some Cat 5 cable, Cat 6 cable, Cat 7 cable. They're all for carrying data, and they are designed and constructed to carry data. You're not seeing much Cat 7 cables, it's very, very expensive, but that is individually paired screens. So, Cat 5 and Cat 5e, Cat 6, which you're going to come across, is for data. It is not for... It is not for telephones. Above is a telephone cable. The difference between telephone cable and Cat 5 is... The twist is much less aggressive. There is less twists per metre than there is on Cat5. That is down to the frequencies used and eliminating EMC and interference, all that kind of mad shit that you can look at on the internet. I'm not going to tell you. But as you can see, and if you look online, you'll see that they have a much less vicious twist rate. And then, which is the point I'm getting to above me now, is a CT cable. So if you fit in a CT, which people are doing nowadays for things like battery storage, like I've done in my own house, or PV, or meter or anything like that, you want to be using a belding cable which has got another twisted pair in it, which will be twisted, designed on the construction of the cable to keep the EMC down. So that one above me is a belding, and that is for things like CTs. That is the proper cable to use for a CT. Now here's the point, if you're putting in data, only data cable will work. If you're putting in telephones, data cable might work, and telephone cables will work. If you're putting in CTs, telephone cable, data cable, and Belden cable will all work, but the problem is, if you have a problem, you have used the wrong cable. CTs on EV charge and stuff like that may work with Cat5, but they might not. You might have a massive error, you might have interference and all that. If you want to do the job properly, I strongly suggest that you get the specifications required for the CT or fit the correct cable. I have seen entire offices winding Cat5 using it for phones quite adequately. But if you decide to do that off your own back and none of the phones work, they will start blaming you and you're going to put a load of cable in. So please bear in mind that CTs do want a belding cable, data wants data cable, and telephone wants a data cable. And if you start operating outside that box and have a problem, you're going to have a problem because you're going to be pulling out miles of cable that you've picked wrong. It'll work, it'll be fine, but then if someone comes in with a better test than you've got, for example, Cat5 tester, Cat5s always work. As long as you've got the connections, they'll work but what speed will they work at? So that's when you'll get your pants pulled down. When someone comes in with a thousand pound tester and tells you that your cable is designed to take one gigabit, is only taking 10 megabits, then you'll be like, I don't know what the fuck you're on about. And they'll be like, well, you replaced another cable in for free. Particularly with the CTs on EV and PV and battery, if you lose a very small amount of current or voltage, most CTs work on one to five amp or 0.33 volts to five amp, something like that you are dealing with incredibly small amounts of voltage or current. So if you choose the wrong cable and get the right losses, you could be measuring 10 amps when it's 12, or you could be measuring 10 amps when it's 15. So you've got to be careful. You need to be able to trust that CT, and by using the wrong cable that's not designed for it, you immediately render any readings it makes absolutely fucking useless. You are dealing with incredibly small voltages and incredibly small currents and Trying to squeeze a CT cable down a pair of Cat 5s or different twists in a Cat 5 or no twists at all a Cat 5 will just result in errors which most Sparkies don't have the ability to check read against an accurate calibrated meter. So yeah, just bear it in mind, you could be giving energy away because you've used the wrong cable on a CT. So when I've been pulling cables down here all week, all the way down there, and that goes for a kilometre, I'll make sure I've got the right cable because if I have to come back, it's going to cost me a fucking 300 quid tire wraps. Then mind replacing the cable and doing the job properly. So cable selection, that's one of the skills about being an electrician, that they don't pick you on a five-day course. You need to get data sheets for cable, data sheets for the thing you fit in, and make sure those numbers add up, because a lot of the time it will just work and it'll be fine.